Mariah and Nick are living large. They live in some serious square footage. Like Mariah's $9 million triplex in New York City's Tribeca, with 12,000 square feet of living space. It's so fabulous. It's such an incredible place. I don't know what you call 12,000 square feet in New York City, except excessive, gargantuan, over the top. The palatial penthouse boasts a recording studio, gym, Moroccan room, and working salon, not to mention colossal closets. Mariah Carey's closets are humongous. They're actually bigger than most people's full studio apartments. She has a separate room for her clothes and a whole other room for her shoes. It's also home to one of Mariah's priciest and most prized possessions, a white lacquered baby grand piano that once belonged to Marilyn Monroe. She's got it roped off in its own section, but who can blame her? She owns this piece of one of her idols, Marilyn Monroe, and nobody is gonna be playing chopsticks on that thing. Thank you very much. When they're not in the Big Apple, the family of four spread out in their 11,750-square-foot Bel Air mansion, recently valued at just under $13 million. The seven-bedroom, nine-bath stunner has a theater, music studio, putting green, even a lodge-themed Aspen room. They also have a barber shop in the house for Nick Cannon to get his haircuts. They have a candy room. They have a basketball court. They have everything you could ever dream of right on their property. There's no reason to leave. It's a beautiful situation. But even the most beautiful of situations can get tired. So when these two stars need a break from their fabulous homes, they escape to even more fabulous vacation spots. During the month of December, you'll find them hitting the slopes in Aspen, the perfect place to spend part of their winter and their hard-earned dough. Works for me. I mean, Aspen is the perfect place for them. It's incredibly posh. It is really the playground of the rich and famous. And during the summertime, the Cary Cannon family jets out to where else but the Hamptons, where they soak in some rays and relax in one of the most prestigious seaside communities. Mariah and Nick love hanging out in the Hamptons. Do I? <laughs> of course I do. All the big celebrities are out there, and it's a place to really brush shoulders with everyone. So when it comes to spending money on homes in the Hamptons, they are happy to write any size check. Absolutely. Take a peek inside one of Nick and Mariah's favorite rental properties in the Hamptons, the Peninsula. When people want to look at luxury real estate in the Hamptons, they call me. This magnificent Sag Harbor Hamptons estate has over 8,000 square feet, six bedrooms, six and a half baths, and 650 feet direct water frontage on the bay. This property attracts celebrities, high-end Wall Street people, and anybody that wants extreme privacy and luxury. The living room just screams elegance. It has beautiful coppered ceilings and a wide open floor plan open to the kitchen, family room, and another den. It's just the most beautiful and most private estate in the Hamptons. It's called the Peninsula because it's surrounded on three sides by water, and you look out onto only water and no other neighbors in the area, which is very important to most celebrities that would be here. The pool is a 30 by 60 infinity edge pool. It's got jacuzzi, floating day beds. It was inspired by a resort in Bali, and you feel like you're there. It's very private, you have no neighbors looking down on you, and it's one of the nicest backyards and pool areas in the Hamptons. Mariah and Nick reportedly shelled out $150,000 a month during the summer of 2012 to get some R&R in this stunning sanctuary. Worth it. It was amazing. And when the Hamptons get lame, Nick and Mariah always have another slice of paradise standing by. Their home in the Bahamas is on a secluded private island called Windermere, and you can only get there by private plane. So if you don't know about Windermere, you can't go to Windermere. <laughs> <laughs> 
Their $5.5 million Bahamian property boasts 4,000 square feet of indoor luxury and 3,500 square feet of outdoor opulence. The four-part compound also has a 40-foot pool and a wraparound terrace. You know when you have a compound, you got a lot of money. It's amazing. But when they're looking for a little more action, Nick doesn't play around. A couple of weeks after they got hitched, he started their marriage on the right foot when he paid a reported $250,000 to rent out Six Flags Amusement Park in L.A. for five hours. Just so Mariah could ride her favorite roller coasters without waiting in line. Now that's a good husband. My wife is an icon, but at the same time, you know, she's the best wife in the world as well. When Mariah and Nick do anything, they do it really big. They can afford to, why not? <laughs> Coming up, Mariah's gift keeps on giving. She keeps making number one hits and selling more and more. And the many hats of Nick Cannon. I got a new show that I'm directing and producing. He really does it all. When the fabulous life of Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon return.